Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I get the feeling that I should do the secret level first because it's gonna be like a shortcut to a later level and whatnot. So let's try pe- oh, maybe not. That's dash four. So maybe I'm actually gonna be led back to that level later. You know what? Okay. Dash two. Here we go. Magma River Cruise. We're gonna be skull rafting it up like uh, in Super Mario World. Oh no, the black cloud of death. Um, oh, it's this sort of thing. It's where an enemy if, is on the raft. It, it uh, makes it sink and slow down. That's... Okay, that might be a problem. Because they're going to keep living. <laughs> yeah, like that. Alright. Where are the... Oh, the little Goombas. How dare you. There we go. Whew, I didn't notice them at all. Where'd they even come? Oh, they're on... The, they're way up there, and those little micro Goombas. They weigh down the raft just as well as any other enemy. And wait a second. I, no, wait, that was where the micro Goombas came from. There probably wouldn't be anything up there. Although, there could be something up there. We got... I think that's Blarg. I think. Uh, he's... He's kind of new. <laughs> I don't know, He's it's a different kind of enemy, that's for sure. Oh god, and I see the gimmick of this. They want they want to flood the raft with enemies so that this, this thing won't go. <laughs> and then I get trapped by the death cloud that is coming behind me. Oh jeez, I think I want to get up there. But the death cloud is coming. The death cloud is coming. Oh wait, what? There wasn't anything special there? Well, hmm. Well, I'm gonna hit that. Even though I know it's gonna be really bad. <laughs> I gotta get him off the raft and fast, which seems to work if I spin him off. If I get him on me and then spin him off like that, it works very well. I had to get that coin. <laughs> like, without a doubt. Oh god. These moles, they're so squirmy. So on the way to. Oh, please tell me there isn't anything up there. I hope there isn't anything up there. I might kill you guys before you get on the raft. Wait a second. I can't do anything just yet. I need to get that coin. I must ride it to the end. And it's probably gonna go underneath, so I should probably nick this and get up here before it decides to go out of its way. Yeah. And there is the death cloud. I believe that's instant kill, actually. So you don't want to mess, mess with that too much, but it was pretty much a non-issue, just as long as I got uh, through that area. You know, I, I mean, I, I got through the area with killing all the enemies and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't pay attention to the timer. I got 88. <laughs> I only noticed it because of the 8-bit uh, music that played. And give me a good power that's not a star. You did not listen to me whatsoever. <laughs> Toad. You are not a bro. Yeah. Next stage is opened up, and that star is going away. <laughs> there we go. And let's move on. There should be three, I'm guessing. Yep, rising tides of lava. Is it going to be like that castle where it had waves of lava, or is it... Okay, it's just going to go up and down like that. Ooh. Well, I was expecting the bounce on that. It acted like a platform, but I expected to be able to, like, bounce off of it. So I held the jump button and just kept moving forward. Oopsie. <laughs> so, you are a platform when it's like that. And that, that lava, I can tell you already, it's going to be hiding stuff. <laughs> Definitely, without a doubt, going to be hiding stuff. Those coins could also hide stuff. Oh, I was supposed to break these and then use the Koopa shell to hit those blocks over and over. I see. So, so those likely only contain coins. Wait a second. Okay. Just want to make sure I wasn't missing something up there. Oh god. Um. That's what I was aiming for. <laughs> I always aim for the best 
best possible thing in the situation, and a life definitely wouldn't be the best possible thing for the situation, because I have 87 lives. Um, <laughs> I was a little worried there. Okay. Well, that lets me skip a whole lot, but the question is, did I miss anything? Hopefully I didn't. It seems like they want me to go down there. God, seriously? How do I do that? Is it possible to run all the way over there? I'm guessing it is. Like, if I were to make the run now and just go, 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 go. I suppose I could ditch the run if need be. Or not. <laughs> How do I get that coin, then? Am I supposed to, like, freeze an enemy and use it as a platform? I don't know. Well, anyway, I know where the first one is, and I know where the second one is, but the question is, how do you get that second one? <laughs> Whee! Uh, yeah, this first one, really, really easy. It's just there. You've got some giant buzzy... Be oh, actually, maybe it's not that easy, because that effect happens. Oh! I did not anticipate that, because they react differently depending on if they're floating in lava or not. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. I have no other choice but to try it again, of course. <laughs> go, 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 go. Alright, so what I want to do here is quickly bridge the gap like that. Well, not bridge the gap, just make the jump in there. Now over here, just want to see what's in those blocks. As long as I'm here as well. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have you hang out there. And the lava plops back down. Yep, just as I thought, coins. Nothing too exciting. Unless you're into coins, I won't judge. <laughs> I'm aiming for a fire flower again. Yes. Oh god. Oh, it doesn't go up that high. Okay. Now, what happens if I were to, like, throw a shell... Oh, no, 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 no! I was gonna say, throw a shell and follow it, you know, through that lava area. Because maybe I need to throw a shell with precise timing to get that coin under there? Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure, actually. Bling! Well, here we are again. Since I already got the first coin, I'm going to do this to be safe. But, now that I think about it, the solution might be... Oh, uh, no, it, it couldn't be that. I was going to say, it could be that critter there. You know, the giant buzzy beetle. Hmm. But I, I wouldn't be able to kick him down there because of the fact that the lava rises like that. And yeah. Huh. <laughs> This is quite the mystery, unless it's just a timing thing. You're supposed to really go for it. And that wasn't good enough timing. <laughs> Let's give it another shot. Stage two is a piece of cake. No! <laughs> Stage one and three, not so much, or at least when it comes to the star coins. Right, I'm gonna try and make this run again. I really, truly do not know if this is possible. <laughs> Go, 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 It is possible! Okay. And that's got a power-up, right? Right. Yes. So I would get that to be safe. Alright, now I can finally move on. Well, unless I have to get that coin again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> uh... Wait, this is actually safer. <laughs> It looks like it's harder, but it's actually safer. Oh, wait, wait, don't kill them. I need you guys. I need you guys around to save me, or maybe not. Hmm. Let's see what we... This <laughs> just makes the other one go. It's a giant one. Um, that's probably a power-up or a one-up. Wait a second, why... Why is it telling me... Is there more up higher? I don't know. Oh, it's a run, it's a run! Oh, it's not that big of a run. Wait, where... Where could the third... Third coin be? Is it gonna be past the pipe? Because I didn't see... 
if there's anything special there, unless I need like a squirrel suit to... Oh great, I got this coin again. Unless I need a squirrel suit to uh, get up to wherever that arrow was pointing. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, I, did, I touched the edge, that's not good news. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make the run very, very smooth in order to make it to that coin. Go, 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 go. That was good timing. That was really good timing. Yes. I just wish I would have gotten that before I hit the midpoint, but at the same time, maybe not, because it's kind of a bit harder to get back to that point and hope that you get a successful run at that. <laughs> so to speak. Alright, still looking for the third star coin. Alright, let's get that like so. Hopefully, because sometimes those switches, they make stuff appear from other areas. I think you get what I mean. Alright, I'm gonna put it all the way up. Wait for the lava to go back down. And make my run. Maybe there's gonna be a star coin. Maybe not. But I know I wanna be on here. <laughs> Alright, please be out here, Starcoin. Please be out here somewhere. I think I'm supposed to get all these. No! I don't know where the other coin is then. Unless that arrow was an indication of something? Hmm. Well, I got the first two. So, looks like I'm gonna have to take one more run through this level. At least. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna come into this one with squirrel power, just to be sure. Alright, this arrow... Is it an in indicator of anything? Or is it just telling me to move those platforms up? I don't know. <laughs> by the way, this the squirrel suit totally breaks the level, by the way. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Gotta look around this area carefully. Maybe... No, you don't go up high enough, like ever. When I just noticed that the, um, the, the blocks themselves, like the structure of them, you can tell where they are... Um, gonna... where the lava level is based on the glowy portions of those blocks. Hmm. You know what I'm thinking? Those two blocks might have something. This is a little bit back from where that arrow was. The reason why is because they are simply very hard to get. Oh, there's something in between them! Did not expect that. I was expecting there to be a vine in one of the blocks, but not a vine out of the middle of the blocks. Alright, there's the last star coin. Oh my god, you?! Fire Chomp has returned? Their ability is to shoot fires from their tail there, and you can kill them off as they are... as they shoot them out like that, but... Uh, once they run out of fire, I believe they home in on you and then explode. Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna trust the arrow and say that the arrow is the exit. Okay. So now all I have to do is make it to the end of the level, alive. And yeah, I'll show you what I mean about the squirrel suit pretty much breaking everything. First I gotta move that down, then I can pretty much make this jump without worry about the lava. Then I'll be able to easily glide on top of the buzzy beetle, well the giant buzzy beetle over there. And like that. 40 seconds! That's plenty of time to get to the end of the level with this last coin. And then I think I'm going to end off the part here, because it's probably going to be about 13 to 15 minutes after editing and whatnot. So, I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.